Hey everyone, welcome to Trail Sage, and this week we're talking about the Enduro mount from 76 Projects. Whether you're a fellow YouTuber like me, or you just like capturing POV footage on your mountain bike, but you can't stand seeing your computer take up prime real estate on your screen, then this adhesive mount could be the solution. Before I go too far, here are the specs. The Enduro mount weighs in at 5 grams, which makes it extremely light, and measures about 53 millimeters long by 36 millimeters wide. Including the adhesive backing, the depth is about 7.5 millimeters, which is about the equivalent to a stack of four quarters. It's constructed using a hard plastic called Nylon 12, which makes it extremely durable, long lasting, and weather resistant. All the hard edges are rounded off to give it a smooth finish, and the adhesive on the back is custom made by 3M specifically for this product. The mount attaches to the top tube and comes in either a flat or curved option to match the dimensions of your bike. You can also purchase them to work with both the Garmin and Wahoo. If you're interested in learning more about 76 projects and their manufacturing facility, I'll leave a link in the description below. But for now, let's jump into my likes. As a content creator on YouTube, I'm always looking for products that will either help or improve my production quality. And being a mountain biker, I rely heavily on my point of view shots to illustrate where and what I'm riding. And having a bike computer mounted to my bars always felt distracting and took up valuable screen space. And for me, having an unobstructed view of the terrain ahead was really important. Before I got this mount, that meant putting this computer into my pack or even into my pockets. And hiding it away meant that I didn't have any access to my stats and I certainly couldn't follow any routes. This Enduro mount allows you to attach your computer anywhere along your top tube, giving you full access without getting in the way of any of your shots. I also love how strong this adhesive is. Once you stick it to the frame, it holds really well. The durable material used keeps this from rattling around on techie trails and holds up to some serious abuse. Now, having said that, I eventually did break one, but that's actually a good thing. Here, let me explain. After crashing pretty hard, the heavy impact caused my mount to crack, but much like how a helmet cracks on impact to save your head, this mount cracked to save my computer. And while broken mounts do suck, breaking the mounting bracket on the back of your computer is far worse. I can replace these plastic mounts for far less money than having to replace this whole computer. And speaking of replacing mounts, I also love how easy it was to remove the old one and install the new one. To install the mount, take your computer and attach it to it, and then with the adhesive backing still on, place that onto your top tube. Check to make sure that your stem and bars can rotate without hitting it. Once you've decided on a location, clean that area thoroughly with the alcohol wipe that was provided. Then take a hair dryer and lightly heat the area. When you're ready, peel the adhesive backing off and place the mount onto the frame. Now press firmly for 30 seconds. Removing it was just as easy. Take the hair dryer and apply some heat to the adhesive and peel it back slowly. I found that an old credit card or a plastic tire iron can help with this process. The adhesive comes off relatively easy and leaves no residue or mark. So what are the downsides? Well, I only have a few and they're pretty minor for myself, but they could be problematic for some other folks. Moving the computer down to your top tube takes some getting used to. Having to look farther down means it's harder to check your computer while riding, especially if the terrain is technical. I also found that my knees would sometimes hit it when I was getting on or off the bike, but I quickly got used to that and it barely happens anymore. But this leads me to my second annoyance, which is I had a rubber protector around this computer, but every so often my leg would rub up against it and that would slide the rubber protector off. The other downside is if you use a larger bike computer or your phone to track your rides, then this mount won't work for you. Not because of strength, but because anything wider on your top tube would interrupt your pedaling as well as your standover. 76 Projects recommends this mount for the Wahoo Bolt as well as the Garmin 500 series. They also suggest running it with a tether, which I 100% agree with. Using a tether is an absolute no-brainer. Regarding pricing at $17, it's a pretty good value. I also love supporting small companies grinding it out and making cool stuff for the bike community. So while this mount isn't for everyone, if you're like me and you love riding with a computer but can't stand seeing it in your POV footage, then try giving this Enduro mount a shot. I've been riding with mine for about six months, punishing it through tough terrain and all kinds of weather conditions, and it's held up great. And it wasn't until my crash that I finally broke it, but I was so impressed that I bought two more. Well, that does it for this review. If you have any feedback or questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed watching this, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you want to see more content like this, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Over, over. Right, so as soon as I do that, it's a zero, right? Oh, right. Ba, ba, ba. La, 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 la. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right.
But you can't stand seeing your computer take up the pro- But you <sighs> Whew. To install the mount, you attach your computer to it. To install the mount, you attach your computer- They also suggest using a tether- Tether? I was so- <sighs> Well, I guess we're done. <laughs>